Uh, this week for Spark Extra, I thought I'd show you through a bit of the Magic Microwave. Magic Microwave is a real microwave, but it's been quite heavily modified. Um, I've had lots of fun doing it. I want to show you through. Now, a word of warning before I do this. Uh, this involves opening up a dangerous appliance and modifying the electricity stuff inside. It involves playing around with 240 volts, which can kill you. So please do not do this at home. This is not a craft for kids. This is just showing you some fun that I've done. As a grown-up, who knows what he's doing. So this is a real, real microwave. Uh, it was partially broken, which is why it ended up on the house here. It wasn't good for cooking food anymore. It really does plug in. Uh, the display on the front really does work, as you've seen in videos. Um, it... Uh, it does two different colors now. So if I, if I just open the door for a moment, you can see it swapped between pink and green. That is because around the back, we have the two different light globes plugged in. Um, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, more about what's happening. We're gonna unplug it and turn it off. Turn it off, unplug it, so we can't get zapped by anything now. Um, first thing we did to modify it was we had to open up this, this case here. Um, and there's a very serious warning down here. It reads, warning, microwave energy, do not remove this cover. Um, it had some, some serious screws that had a special head on them that I didn't have a screwdriver for. So in order to remove this cover um, and still be careful about the dangerous microwave radiation, I had to angle grind off those two screws. So they're removed, nice, dirty job. Um, then we need to remove a few screws from the back. Some of you will be noticing that uh, these light fittings are mounted very poorly. That is because I used a hole saw that I bought from Bunnings. And a piece of advice for you guys, if you're buying a hole saw set from Bunnings, do not buy the cheapest one, they are terrible. They produce awful holes in thin sheet metal like this. Raggedy, disgusting. But it still sort of works for a cheap, fun spark prop. So we've got those four screws out. Uh, we also have to unscrew our uncook and cook switch off the top here. Take the plate out, flip it over this way so you can see a bit more. Can you see? No, you can't see. Uh, let's flip it over this way. There you can see a bit more. So we're just going to unscrew our cook and uncook switch from the top. Again, a bit of dodginess from me. These are actually bolts here. They're not self-tapping metal screws, which is what you'd normally use but they're good enough. They happen to work for this situation as long as you drill the hole perfect size for them. Now, get another screwdriver. We have to undo the wires to our switch. There we go, one, two, three wires into our switch. This is just an old light switch I had kicking around. So I've rated for 240 volts. So it's okay to use in this application. Here we go. All right. So now we can take our cover off. Here we go. Now if I flip it over just for a second, you'll see something here in the top of it. You see this, uh, this sparkly purple tape? I think this glittery stuff is what makes it magic. Um, everyone knows sparkles make things magic, so that's probably what does it. What else do we have inside here? We've got a mess of wires that looks very confusing at first. Um, we have a big transformer down here. This That produces the really high voltages needed to make microwaves. And then this, this piece here is what generates the actual microwave magnetotron. If I open this up, you can... Uh, can't really see, can you? I'm going to pick up the camera. If you have a look, there's this silver thing here. That's where the microwaves come out. So in order to make this a safe and fun pop, uh, 
in order to make this a safe and fun prop for our spark videos what we did i'll close that turn it around there's two wires here these two wires which normally go from our transformer and plug into our microwave generator so we've unplugged those and taped them so this microwave doesn't actually make any microwaves anymore which is why i can put whatever i like in it and it doesn't matter i can put metal in there i can put food in there i can put crazy things in there it doesn't actually make any microwaves um so it doesn't it's not dangerous um the other thing we've done is turn it up this way these two little tabs here they connect to the normal internal light that lights up when you open the door but that's a fairly low powered light um, and it's a, it's a normal white light um, incandescent bulb so what we did instead is we unplugged those and uh, we've wired them in to the two cables that run to our two lights at the back with normal LED globes and then these three wires here one two three are what were wired into our switch so whenever the microwave control panel says to turn on the inside light the electricity travels through our switch and out to one of these two colored globes so when it's in uh, cook mode on our switch it turns pink and when it's in uncooked mode it turns green now in order to make our two globes pink and green i didn't have pink and green globes sitting around the house so what we did is this is just a normal led globe with some pink cellophane over the top because it's an led globe it doesn't get hot and that works fine and i didn't have any green cellophane and being locked down didn't want to go to the craft shop so this here is another led globe with a piece of green cloth taped over the top to make the green color and that's how our magic microwave works hopefully that doesn't take away too much of the mystery um hope you enjoy that i'm going to put this back together so we can use it in spark next week see you around